Most new parents look forward to tracking the developmental milestones in their child's life. Those milestones are the skills that most children can do by a certain age. For example, smiling for the first time, waving goodbye, or taking their first step. We sat down with UCSF's Interim Chief of Pediatrics, Serena Young, to talk about what parents should really be looking for. I'm so, so glad we're talking about this topic of milestones. Um, and just to clarify milestones, we mean uh, milestones of development. As pediatricians, we watch very closely how children are growing, but we also watch how they are developing. And so we know that from birth to, to about uh, four or five years of life, those first five years are, are critical, is a critical time period for us to be making sure that they have those growth and, and development milestones um, on target. How are they acting with other people? How are they uh, talking with other people? How are they um, uh, moving? How, what are they doing? How are they learning? So these are all um, kind of big areas of development that we need everyone looking for and, and watching for and letting people know if you're worried. Wanted to emphasize today not to wait, um, uh, certainly, um, and just wait until your doctor's appointment two months later to tell someone or even to tell your teacher or your daycare provider or um, even a nurse that you trust um, that you're worried about your child's development and, and how he or she is acting or talking or doing um, because the key is actually early um, identification and um, then someone can actually look further look at, um, at your baby or your child and determine whether or not an, an intervention or a program is needed to, to help support their development. We know the evidence shows that early intervention or early supports um, for infants and children in the first uh, five years of life are actually setting them up for better success and better health when they're older um, and that should then the interventions actually need to be done early. How can parents be the best advocate for their children? Just to keep being who they they are and to persist um, that's my asking is to persist and call your your nurse or doctor or teacher or daycare provider again um, and, and that's the key is that with time we oftentimes can see um, different things over different you know o over time and so please do be persistent um, and let, let your, your doctors know that you're worried <laughs>